In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down Keegan Murray's basketball shooting form. He has a very interesting form because it's very quick. So if you're looking to be having a quicker shot, this is definitely a video that will help you. Really quickly, if you want to have a more powerful shot, make sure to go check out my hardest basketball shooting workout down in the description below. So one thing that he does really well is, of course, his shoulder, elbow, and ball placement. When he's going up for a shot, what we can see right here is that he has roughly a 90 degree angle on his elbow. To be exact, it's about 80-ish degrees that's pretty darn close to 90. What a 90 degree angle does is when you go for your shot, you've got less of a distance to travel from 90 to, of course, release. You're going from 90 degrees and you're only extending 37 degrees from that. However, if your arm was, let's say, back at 50, which some players do shoot, from that angle, most players will shoot more like about 50, 55 to 60. And what that does is now when you go for your release, instead of traveling 30 degrees, you're traveling 90. You're going three times longer of a distance and that takes time. So if you've got a defender on you, the shortest distance is better because it's faster. So that is number one. Also, the shoulder, elbow, and ball, half the ball is in line with each other. I call that the shooting triangle because your shoulder and elbow are in line with the rim. That is important because that's going to be your aim. Your accuracy is going to be the ball placement. If more than half or a quarter of that ball is over top of some part of the shoulder, elbow, or upper arm, that is going to allow you to have a very straight shot. And you, at that point, just have to play with power, which is your lower back and your legs. When he does release, what do we see? Well, we see his elbow over top of his eyes. His total release angle is 49, 50-ish degrees, which allows him to get that ball high enough. And then his angle on descent of the ball is about 45 degrees. That is almost perfect. You want to be between 41-ish, 42-ish, all the way to 47, and that angle of that ball coming down towards that rim is going to be extremely important if you're looking to have a more accurate shot. And we can see right here that half of that ball is over top of his upper arm, which allows him to, of course, have a very accurate shot. His arms are slightly, hips as well, are slightly tilted away from the basket so that he can get that in line with the rim. We can also see from this angle right here that he does not have a thumb flick at all. We can see that now once the frame gets cleared. One thing that is interesting is he doesn't totally straighten his legs. A lot of players do that. Usually you want to kind of totally straighten your legs to get more power, but he definitely gets enough power to get that ball to the rim. He also has really good footwork here. He's able to gather on his left, kick his right foot down so that he goes up into his shot. However, what I really want to focus on here is his shoulder placement versus his knees and toes. A lot of players will want to have their shoulders farther forward so that they can be in line with their knees and toes so that they have a more balanced shot. And he does kind of have that earlier on. And just by walking up, he may be bringing his shoulders back early. However, I really want to show the energy transfer. And that is the ability to get down into his shot and then extend the ball up while he's extending his leg. He gets a lot of his lower back and of course his legs into this shot. The one thing that is interesting is that he's on pretty much his heels. So he has a very relaxed shot, but it is definitely a two motion. He gets it at his forehead, or just to the right side roughly to his forehead, and then he's able to go up for his release. He does tend to pause there for about one frame, which for some coaches may be a two motion shot. In my opinion, it needs to stop there for at least two or three frames for it to be a two motion shot. So in reality, it's a one motion shot. Here he's able to straighten his legs up, straighten his back, He's going straight up and down, but being able to bring that ball up while you're extending your lower back and legs is definitely a very good energy transfer. You do not want to have your legs going down and bending while you're bringing the ball up. Some players make that mistake, and that takes a lot of power away from your shot. However, Keegan Murray does not do that, and he has also a very soft release as well. He doesn't have a hard release on his wrist like Michael Jordan. A soft release will allow him to get more arc. A hard release allows for more 
rotation on that ball, generally speaking. And we can see from this angle that he brings that ball up the right middle side of his body, which for some players, they would want to come up more towards the right side, more towards the middle. But this, in my opinion, if you've got a close to square elbow, this is where you want to be just to the right middle of your body to be able to get that ball up. He has absolutely zero thumb flick, which is beautiful. And of course he releases, it's hard to see with these blurry clips on this app, but he does release with his pointer and middle finger. Now when he does his step back here, what do we see? Well, we see his shoulders pretty much over top of his knees and toes, almost a complete line. That is very good. And he still has that, and he still has that close, see right here, it's a bit farther back. He does. He has a lot more space. He's about 65 degrees. He's got a lot more space between himself and his defender. So here he can come back a bit farther on his shot form, but he still has that very nice release elbow over top of his forehead and soft release as well. I hope that this video has helped you become a better shooter in basketball. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.